Recently I went back and did a timeline and looked at, looked at the development of the boat. Working with All-American Marine had been since almost the start of it. It kind of started with finding a, a GA drawing of a vessel they had built for NOAA called the Manta. And based on that, I said, this is a kind of boat I would like. We put our own twist to it. And uh, All-American was a big part of uh, developing that through, through the whole process. I would have to think that All-American is one of the best uh, boat builders around that, that understands vessel needs and, and, and their clients' needs on how to integrate research gear with a vessel. I think they've put a lot of effort and time into working with a lot of people like Noah and others that uh, tells them these are the things that we need, this is how it would work. And uh, yes, they were very instrumental in helping, helping us work through how to put, put all the components together. It's uh, built to be a multi-purpose research vessel so it can take on many roles. It's able to do shallow water hydrographic surveys due to its shallow draft and due to its speed it's able to do the deeper water projects far offshore. It's also built to be what we're calling SOLAS compliant. All of the equipment on it is uh, adequate and there's enough of the right types of equipment so that we can travel anywhere in the world. We put four engines for one to be able to get the speed we wanted and also to make it a configurable ship where we can pick and choose the speeds we go and have better fuel economy at the different speeds we want to go. The small engines drive us uh, at slower speeds, at good fuel economy. The big engines allow us to work in conjunction with the smaller engines to, to provide us the top speed we want. We uh, designed the vessel to, uh, to have a very specific two-week mission plan. It has uh, the fuel and the engine set up so that it's able to depart the dock on four engines, transit out at top speed, get to the work site. It shuts off the two larger engines and will run on the smaller engines for fuel economy during the two, during the two weeks it's on the survey site. It will then finish its two weeks, uh, turn on all four engines and transit back to the dock at full speed. The speed during the transit lets us uh, do more work on site, gives us more time on our survey site, allows us to go farther, allows us to be more competitive in our bidding process. A, a project that may have been a day and a half transit from the port we're in is now uh, you know, half of a day or three quarters of a day. It lets us uh, reap the benefits of time and money.